You know what? Speaking of debating, let's get into this. Let's get into this embarrassing display. And I don't, I don't want to be the person. I, that's, this isn't, in fact, I'm going to turn my air conditioner off. Right, because I, that's distracting. I don't want to be this person that goes out there and tries to act like a debate bro, kind of like, why won't you, I, I don't want to be that person. That's not my role. In fact, to be honest with you, I've debated enough dumbass motherfuckers over the course of the election. Trump supporters, liberals, I've debated them all. I've debated Nazis, I've debated classical conservatives, I've debated classic liberals, I've debated libertarians, I've debated anarcho-capitalists, I've debated fucking tanky, I've debated almost every single kind of political ideology that exists, right? So I don't have anything to gain from debating some washed up professor who wrote a book and then threw the book out the window because he's afraid to talk to a fucking high school dropout. That's not the role that I want to be in. That being said, I'm going to take that role for today because, I mean, it's hilarious. So, Ben Burgess. Now, you might notice this little thing here. It says, pinned tweet. Ben Burgess pinned a tweet about how he's not going to debate me. Like, if you look at his page, this is like, okay, who's Ben Burgess? Wow, look at this. Okay, Ben, philosophy instructor. Let's see. Okay, pinned tweet. No, I'm obviously not going to debate the streamer. What? That's his pinned tweet. The most important thing about Ben Burgess' account, in his estimation, is that he's not going to debate me. And that's weird. That's weird. Also, it's important to note that when in this tweet, he refers to me as, quote, the streamer. Why is he afraid to mention my name? This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So I'm going to go into the thread that started this uh, real quick. But... Again, I just want to, like, this isn't my role. I don't want to be the, like, especially with Ben, I liked Ben Burgess. I thought he was a cool guy. I've got one of his books. In fact, I'm going to show it to you right here. I'm going to show it to you right here. This is one of his books. I have it. I've read this book. It took me, like, you know, an hour, but I've read the book. So I'm going to read an excerpt from this book. Right, I'm going to read this. This is on page 11 of Ben Burgess's book, Give Them an Argument, which is what he uh, called his podcast. So... Uh, any citation of expert opinion will be classified as appeal to authority, blah, blah, blah. Any example of saying something mean will be classified as ad hominem, even though a fallacy is by definition a way that an argument goes wrong so that the premises don't really support the conclusion. Fallacy happy students can somehow find fallacies even in passages in which no arguments are made. So I want to be very clear here, right? I cited this and he has not responded. I cited his own book against him and he has been very upset about that. And I want to play that. I want to look at his response because he posted. Okay. Recap. On the David Feldman show, he said he was asked why he's not going to debate me. And he says that January 6th is no big deal. It wasn't a threat. It's not anything that we anyone should ever talk about. In fact, it's so irrelevant that it ignored that January 6th ever happened. And so I made a video saying, what the fuck? This guy's an idiot. And so I made this tweet and he responded to this tweet. Uh, and got upset, again, using ad hominem attacks, right? He wrote a book on fa on logical fallacies. This guy wrote a book on logical fallacies. On page 11, he mentions ad hominem. That it was so important, it's in the first 11 pages, right? And then this guy's going to pull a full, like, you know, do a full 180 degree heel turn, which again, he's very upset about. He wrote a book on ad hominem, and now he's going to pull out all the ad hominem attacks. He wrote a book about canceling comedians being bad, and he's canceling a comedian for being too mean. This guy has no actual opinions. He has no principles, and he has no beliefs. And I don't want to be the person to sit here debunking Ben Burgess. I don't want to be that person. But again, he's two for two on the books that he has published that have been completely thrown out the window by his rhetoric. Like, you, like it would be like if I wrote a book called, like, Why I Love Eating Meat, and then the whole book is about me eating meat. And then you come to find out I'm a vegetarian. What? That doesn't make it. Why did I write a whole book about eating meat if I'm a vegetarian? That's basically what Ben Burgess is doing right here. So, uh, so he responds, nothing I saw in the first few minutes of the video, quote, cringe tour, heel turn, dumb as a shit fuck, etc. Made me think you were a person who had have an interesting, useful conversation with. Sorry, I guess, but that's not what anyone anywhere means by canceling. So again, he is literally canceling me. Like, he is offended by the fact that I referred to him has, quote, dumb as a shit fuck. Imagine being offended by the term dumb as a shit fuck. It doesn't even make any sense. Imagine hearing the term shit fuck and you go like, oh! So it called me a shit fuck.
fuck? <laughs> this is a grown ass man. This is a, an adult human male. And he is afraid of the word shit fuck. Right again, so he doesn't he doesn't think I'm going to have a useful conversation. What does that mean, useful conversation? Do you have to be a, a, a college professor to have a useful conversation? High school dropouts can't be useful? Ben Burgess? This is like some literal ivory tower neoliberal horseshit garbage. That's what this is. This is some I'm still with her level cringe. That's what this, this is. Oh, you don't have a master's degree in philosophy and logic? Sorry, you can't debate me. Oh, you use words that I wouldn't use in my college classrooms? Sorry, you can't debate me? What? And also, he's judging my arguments based on me using swear words, which is objectively ad hominem. But again, he got ratioed here epic style. As you can see here, 15 replies, 9 likes, ratioed epic style. And a bunch of people, okay, so this is where he tries to do this, like, he tries to have his cake and eat it too. And that's what's really bizarre to me about this. No, my issue is not your use of swear words. It's that these are deeply stupid and obnoxious. So it's not the swear words. It's just that the words are stupid. What? So if I, instead of saying shit fuck, if I said like, I, like, I don't know, like, I don't even know. Like, if I said, like, you know, dumb, dumb head, would he have been nearly as offended? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But he's trying to say it's not the swear words, bro. I promise. It's just that the words are stupid. What does that mean? That literally means nothing. You are providing no new information. It's not the swear words. It's the swear words. It's not that they're swears. It's just that they're stupid. Those are the... What? <coughs> But again, Ben Burgess says this. Again, I've asked a lot of people to do debates, me, de debates with me. He asked Stephen Molyneux to do a debate with him while calling him stupid. Are you not supposed to issue a challenge? He's asked Ben Shapiro for a debate while calling him stupid. But all of a sudden, when I, I challenge him to a debate and call him stupid, nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. So again, this guy's getting ratioed epic style. And so this is a really great tweet here. I know people misuse ad hominem a lot, but this is literally argumentum ad hominem. You're ignoring her arguments and are attacking her personal characteristics. All right, let's let's read Ben Burgess's logical mastermind response. It is not even close to what ad hominem means. Her arguments, again, this is a college professor who wrote a book. He wrote an entire book that I happen to have, and I'm not going to buy a second book because if this is how he treats his first book, I'm not going to buy another one. This is, he wrote a book on logical fallacies. He wrote a book on logical fallacies. Right? I don't know what to tell you. Okay. It's not even close to what ad hominem means. Her arguments are, as far as I can tell, identical to the ones made by thousands others. As far as I can tell. So he says he didn't watch the video. And then tells other people what my arguments are. And then in the statement where he says it's not ad hominem, he says, as far as I can tell. You want to know why his, his, his understanding of my arguments are wrong because he didn't watch the video. Why? Because he got offended by the language and now he's trying to say what my argument is without listening to my argument. This is textbook ad hominem. In fact, I've got a textbook right here. I threw it somewhere. I have a textbook right here. Here's my, my textbook. Here it is. It's right here. This is the textbook ad hominem. He wrote about like two years ago, he wrote a book about ad hominem and now he just forgot that he wrote a book about ad hominem. Again, her arguments are as far as I can tell. How are you going to argue with someone when you don't even know their arguments? That would be like, ah, Ben Burgess. Typical Israel supporter. I mean, his arguments, as far as I can tell, are 100% in line with Israeli uh, policies and, you know, uh, you know, the United States State Department uh, agenda. As far as I can tell, Ben Burgess supports war in Iraq. The war in Iraq. As far as I can tell. I mean, hey, I haven't listened to his arguments. I don't know what he said, but as far as I can tell, Ben Burgess is against Medicare for all. I mean, when you look at what he said, he said like Ilhan Omar should be tweeting about it. So as far as I can tell, he's against Medicare for all. What? As far as like, how are you going to debate someone or say that their arguments are bad when you don't even know what the arguments are? It's embarrassing. So, uh, I mean, this is like legit embarrassing shit. 
But there's like, again, he got ratioed epic style here and like a bunch of people, like people that don't even follow me, right? Also, I don't know what this was. He like tweeted a photo of his own tweet. I don't, that was like hardcore boomer stuff. It was really bad. Um, I have no, <laughs> like, I have no idea what that is. But he even had people that don't follow me, right? That follow him. Like, actually get upset with him and say, hey, you wrote a whole book on canceling comedians and now you're doing this. Right? It's embarrassing. Like, this is embarrassing. So, let me look. There's some, like, really good stuff here. Right? Is again, I don't, like, a lot of these people I've never seen before. And they, they, they just came in here to, like, call Ben Burgess stupid, which I appreciate. But again, I don't know what this guy's problem is. And then he makes this pinned tweet. This, again, this is a pinned tweet. It's like, oh, who's Ben Burgess? As far as I can tell, he's against Medicare for all. He supports uh, Palestinian genocide. And uh, he's a libertarian. I mean, I don't, I've never watched his videos. This is just as far as I can tell. Let me go look at, oh, his pinned tweet. No, I'm obviously not going to debate the streamer. Like, again, this is beta male shit. Like, this is hardcore beta male shit. This is really bad. And then my tweet saying, I, nice ad hominem subtweet has almost as many likes as his full tweet. That's hilarious to me. Um... But this is bad. Like, and most of the replies are people making fun of him. Like, again, this is really embarrassing. And as far as I... <laughs> as far as I can tell, Ben Burgess is a beta male. Full stop. I'm sorry. But, I mean, this is just really embarrassing stuff. And again, I don't want to be here. I liked Ben Burgess. I loved his segments on The Michael Brooks Show. I bought his book, right? I thought he was pretty fun. Uh, as a commentator, but as far as I can tell, the guy's gone full-scale beta male. He's a neoliberal shill. He's against Medicare for all, and uh, he he might as well support force the vote. I mean, as far as I can tell, right? I don't. I've not listened to his arguments, but as far as I can tell, he supports force the vote. He loves Jimmy Dore, and he hates Medicare for all. He's an anti-Semite too. Why not? Well, he's an Islamophobe. Why not? As far as I can tell. He's whatever I say he is because I didn't listen to anything he said and I'm a logical professor. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're too afraid to debate a high school dropout for 30 minutes on January 6th. I'm sorry that that's afraid. That you're afraid of that. I'm sorry that you're scared of that. Logical heavyweight Ben Burgess. Right? The mastermind. The most logical human, on being, uh, uh, human being on planet Earth is afraid of a high school dropout. That's embarrassing. I, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, I had to get that segment out. Uh, because, like, again, the as far as I can tell part, like, now we're in the post segment. Right? The as far as I can tell part is hilarious. Right? Like, like I literally, like, he got called out for ad hominem and then replied saying it's not ad hominem. I just didn't listen to her arguments and I'm only attacking her argument based on what she said in the beginning. Like, oh, someone called me dumb as a shit fuck. I now know what the rest of the video's arguments will be. What? Like, it makes no sense. I'm sorry, but it's like, man, this, I like it. Never meet your heroes, folks, except for me because I'm awesome all the time. But like, and not to say Ben Burgess was my hero, but like, you know, kind, like I kind of respected him. I respected him enough to buy one of his books. I really have to say that like ending the segment on this was so good. Like, oh my god. Like, it's just embarrassing. Like, it really is, like, genuinely embarrassing. And, like, the thing is, it's like, whenever these people decide to make podcasts, why is it that they fucking throw away all of their values? Like, when I decided, hey, I'm gonna make a podcast, you know what I did? I actually gained more, I actually hardlined my policies, uh, my policy beliefs and my values when I started a podcast, right? I started a podcast, right? I was already an anarchist. Now I'm like an ultra left super anarchist, right? I've doubled, tripled, quadrupled down on anarchist thought and process and, and thought beliefs, right? Meanwhile, these are, these motherfuckers are getting a small amount of pushback and they're going out there saying January 6th basically never happened. No one died. It's all cool, folks. 
the cops aren't a problem. They're great. In fact, no, they're not great, but they're also great. By the way, January 6th is just as bad as the 2020 protest. Ben Burgess has fully lost the plot. And that's what's uh, like the unfortunate aspect about the George Floyd uprising is that it did make a lot of people lose the plot on everything. Like, if, if Ben Burgess is going to go out there and say that the George Floyd uprising is basically the same as the January 6th riot, and then say the January 6th riot was no big deal. Right? Like, what? What's happening there? Is there, a, like, a medical intervention that, that we should consider? I Like, seriously, I really... Okay, so Black Lives Matter protests are bad because I have to compare them to the January 6th riot, which is also bad. And that's part one of my argument. Part two of my argument is January 6th was not that bad. But it was as bad as the Black Lives Matter up, like protests, which are worse because they broke windows. And that's violence, but also no one died on January 6th. But cops did kill protesters in the George Floyd uprising. So that means that the George Floyd uprising was was actually worse than the January 6th uh, because the cop... Uh, how dumb is this motherfucker? But again, I really, like, this is sad, though. Like, 2020 did make a lot of these, like, ostensibly left-wing, pro like, journalists and podcasters lose their shit. Like, real activism, real protesting, real change, real movements. And these motherfuckers were shitting on them since day one. A lot of these people were like, oh. Like, remember the whole fucking riot versus protest debate that we had last year? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Like, all these people are embarrassing. Seriously. Like, and I hate to be, I hate to be this person here, but they're embarrassing. 